guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Chris from Ron Boots Farm. I don't look very farmy today. I got the shirt and tie on, headed into the day job. Hopefully y'all can hear me over the road noise. Um, I did one of these uh, little talks in the car a while back, called it truck talk, but in the car today that I normally drive uh, into downtown Dallas, so I'm not sure if I can really keep calling it truck talk, but anyway. Um, I've been trying to figure out what I would use uh, this time for. I knew I could make a, a podcast like this while I'm driving, but um, yeah, a lot of people use these for rants and that kind of thing, and I'm not much of a person to get on here and rant and rave. So. Um, but what I thought I would do is maybe just start talking about, uh, for those interested, um, just random stuff that uh, comes across my mind with the farm or um, stuff growing up. A lot of the reason I make these YouTube videos is uh, just for the kids my grandkids. I mean, how cool would it be if you had YouTube videos of your parents uh, and grandparents uh, showing what was going on, you know, when you were little or before you were born. So, and one thing uh, uh, that came to mind recently, I was watching some of the other YouTube channels that I follow, and uh, I think it was My Slice of Heaven uh, was doing a walk around of their pond, and I made a comment that reminded me of my uh, great grandparents. Pardon me while I. Uh, and uh, so I thought I'd talk a little bit about that, specifically one memory of the pond. And so my great-grandparents, um, and my farm is named partly after my great-grandfather. His name was Jim Boots Roberts. Uh, everybody called him Boots. And so uh, the Boots and Ron Boots comes from that. And uh, we all called him Paul B. Uh, for Grandpa Boots or, or Paul B. And uh, my great-grandmother's name happened to be Bessie. And so she was Ma B, or they were the Bs collectively. Um, but they had a place up in northeast Texas uh, between uh, Mount Pleasant and Paris in a little town called John Town, which is not even a place anymore. It's just a sign on the road. But she turned off the highway and you know, way back on this gravel road that I called the Bumpy Road when I was a kid, way back into the country. And they had a 150-acre place out there. And right on the corner as you came up to their place was a, a pond. And it was about an acre, acre and a half probably, maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, when I was a little kid, it just had one little pier. Now later we built a, a bigger pier or dock on the other side, but when I was real little, it was just a straight walkout pier that was maybe three feet wide, it seemed like, and it just went straight out, I don't know, 10, 12, 15 feet, something like that. And of course, it had, didn't have any railings or nothing, so everybody was, uh, when we'd be fishing, you know, they, of course, kids are, be careful, be careful, you know, don't fall off. And, uh, of course, I learned to swim early back when I was growing up daycare I went to had a swimming pool and so I actually took swimming lessons at the daycare so I could swim really well before I was even in kindergarten. But uh, one day I fell off the end of the pier and normally even as a kid I didn't get uh, panicked but the first thing I thought when I fell in and I can still remember this was I'm going to get in trouble uh, for uh, not listening and not paying attention and falling off and, and right there at the end of the pier of the water we did my dad did sunk some brush uh, to attract the fish and so I fell in and I'm already thinking uh, uh, I'm going to get in trouble for not paying attention uh, to what you know falling off and then uh, right as that th uh, thought goes through my mind that brush is like hitting my legs tickling my legs and I think I'm gonna get caught up in it so I kind of panicked and I'm, I'm hollering and uh, of course my great-grandfather was with me and he thinks the whole thing's hilarious and he gets me out of the water and you know he has to tell everybody and he's laughing every time he tells the story for the next six or eight months of a year however long it went but uh, you know what goes around comes around so uh, a little while after that uh, he said it may have been six months or a year later me and him uh, were out there again on the pier and I was on the end fishing and he had walked back towards uh, where it met the bank there and for whatever reason I don't know if he turned to say something to me or what but he got his feet tangled up and he fell in uh, but the funny part about where he fell, he fell right along the bank. The water wasn't real deep, but he had a huge flock of geese at the time. There was probably 25 of them. Of course, they would always be down in the pond. Well, the wind was blowing that direction, and all that duck mess, duck poop that, that was floating, had blown over against the bank, and it was thick, probably two or three feet out from the bank right there. Of course, the moss and everything else, and he fell right smack dab in there. And so, uh, I got the, the last laugh on that one. Every time he would bring that story up, I'm going to be falling in. He had to tell the part where he fell in. 
uh, not long after, and I wouldn't uh, let it go about how much I laughed at him for laughing at me for falling. So, uh, it's a good memory. What I like to bring up to talk about my grandparents. That's not the only time he fell in when we built the other dock on the other side. He fell out of the boat um, while him and my dad were driving the piers down into the mud, and I think even on the, we built another pond a few years later that we called the catfish pond, and I think he fell out of the boat or fell off it when we were building that pier. So um, he made fun of me for falling the one time, but he fell in two or three times afterwards. That's all for today. Uh, uh, again, this might not have been uh, a story about our farm, but it is a story about the uh, farm that I spent a lot of time on growing up, my grandparents' farm, and they just called it the farm. That was one reason I named it my place the farm, even though it's just a small three and a half acre place. And uh, they just have a few animals, some a few eggs, but uh, uh, they always, you know, we went to their place, we called it going to the farm, and they referred to it as the farm. So, Ron Boots Farm is uh, part of what we got our name from. So, thanks for uh, joining us on this one. Uh, if you like these videos, hit the like button, hit the subscribe if you hadn't already. We've been gaining subscribers. I think we went from uh, 13 just a few weeks ago to we're up over 40 this morning. So uh, glad for all the new folks that have joined us. And, uh, we'll keep putting these out. I've committed to, to putting them out. If nothing else, even if nobody was watching, I'd still do it just so uh, they'd be there for my kids and grandkids. And I just think it's really neat uh, to have that that info out there, have that uh, media out there, uh, then to go back and look at it. So we'll catch y'all on the next one, and y'all have a great day.